Hello there, Aries. Welcome. I got a surprise for you. I got a new spread that I'm checking out with you guys. It's seven card horseshoe tarot spread. And it's just an addition to my other spreads. It's not replacing any of them, but I like it. And let me know if you do. Um, I appreciate if you give me a thumbs up or a comment, or you could do both if you like this spread. I think it's um, it's pretty nice for something different, something to change things a little bit. <clears throat> so, okay, and this is timeless reading. So let's get started. First, let's see what happened in the past. What, what do we need to know about the past? Ooh, heartache. Something happened. Something caused you pain. Could have been a third-party situation. It doesn't have to be. Could have been, you know, something just someone just hurt you here. <clears throat> so, someone wants to speak because they're starting to ready with my throat. I think it's probably from this. As soon as I got this card, I felt it. It's like, oh. <clears throat> so, someone from the past, maybe they hurt you. Maybe there was a third party that broke you up. Now, a third party does not have to be someone cheating. It could be anything. It could be the two of you were together, but someone was constantly working, so you never got to see each other and say, well, this is not worth it. I'm not seeing you, or they're not seeing, you know, whoever. Or it could be someone has some kind of addiction that was infecting your um, relationship, or it could have been a, a third party. And third party could be family got in between. A mother, a father, a sister, a brother, uh, the whole family, uh, friends. You know, it doesn't have to be that someone cheated. It could be someone that just started some trouble here. Okay, so we're dealing with that. We're gonna, of course, we're going to clarify all these cards. You know me. I clarify everything. Okay, what about what's happening in the present? Ooh, we have a Knight of Wands. Ooh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it could be any sign. So we're not going to get stuck up on the sign here, but we're just, this is just the energy of the sign coming in quick with a lot of passion. That's what's happening in the present for you guys. Let's see what we have for a charm. We, oh, okay. This might be a Taurus. We have the bull here. Either that or they're stubborn. Or they're just very strong, masculine, um, built. Or, or they might be, you know, someone of influence too. They have, they get their way. They might be, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see now. <clears throat> what about the hidden influences? What are the hidden influences for you? We have the Queen of Pentacles. Ah, this is your energy. You're, you know, you're pretty stable, reliable, confident, doing quite well materially. Um, you know, you have a nice home, nice surroundings. You like nice things. This is what's, but this is like, um, Maybe you're not seeing this yet, because this is hidden influences. This is something that's you're not seeing. It's not not in the open, or maybe other people don't know it. And you are doing well like this. Okay, let's see. What is your what represents you? Let's see what represents you in this reading. Oh, you're very hard at work. It feels like you're putting a lot of time and effort into your work, whatever you're doing here. Okay, and then. What about the influences of others for you? Oh, people want to see you succeed. They're behind you. They're rooting for you. Six of Wands. Okay. And what do you need to do? Say to yourself, go inward. Heal yourself. There's something here that maybe... Don't let people know what's really going on with you. Keep things to yourself. The hermit is sort of like, represents Virgo energy, but it also, you know, it's like, yeah, keep things to yourself is what I'm getting really strongly here. And search for what you need to do here, but, um, you know, go within to find your answers. All the, all the answers you need are within yourself. And, um, and heal something here, too. Some of you might have to heal something. You might be working on that. And your outcome is... Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, lots of money coming in for you, honey. Or a long-term commitment, or both. Very nice. Abundant card. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups. There might be an opportunity coming towards you. Um, don't dismiss it. Boo-hoo it right away. This might be something that um, might be... It might be better than it looks up front. So just really um, consider it. Or someone might be coming towards you thinking... I want to come towards Aries, but she's or he or she is not going to accept me. Okay, you know, let's see. Let's clarify this. Why did we have this three of swords in the past here? What's this all about? The strength card could have been dealing with Leo. 
the moon could be dealing with Pisces. So more. And the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So in the past, maybe you got some kind of message that hurt you. Someone um, told you something or said something. Uh, could have been someone younger than you. Let me get a charm on this Page of Wands. There's some hidden emotions. Oh, we have the angel wing here. So this this is divinely guided. Something was here that was meant to happen, maybe. You know, sometimes we have a breakup or something happens, and really for our highest good. But there's hidden emotions, and maybe someone um, came on kind of strong with what they said, but they actually were hiding things. So that's why I feel here. Someone hid something from you. They might have hid their emotions, but they came on very strong. You got the strength card here. Okay, now... The present, we have this Knight of Wands. Let's see, why do we have this Knight of Wands here? We have the Queen of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Three of Swords. Okay, so this seems like in the present, you got this person coming back, I think, here. But this there's the Three of Swords, they want, they're want watching you. They see you as the Queen of Cups doesn't matter what the gender is they see you as very loving caring very intuitive and this person is keeping tabs on you asking about you trying to find out what's going on with you we with this three of sword up here they're coming back because they hurt you and they want to make things right okay let me get a charm for this queen of cups let's put these here so i can see them okay about this queen of cups we have oh okay so I'm feeling that this is your energy. They see you as very caring, loving, um, someone that really pays attention and gives a lot of love and care to people. This could also represent someone that is a healer, whether doctor, nurse, uh, energy worker, anything that could do with healing here. Um, now this page of swords. Uh, oh, I don't know what to say. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Let's see here. We have... Apple. Okay, first thing I got is they see you as the apple of their eye. You know, that there's something here that... Oh, or could also be maybe they see you as forbidden fruit. Maybe there's a reason why you guys can't be together. Alright. Let's go on to the hidden influences for you guys. What's going on with the hidden influences? Seven Swords, Temperance, and the Knight of Swords. Okay, it feels like someone might have did something in the past and they were tricky or held back or they did something to you. They want to balance things out now. Sagittarius energy. They want to make things right. They want to fix things. And we do have them coming in really quick here. And because um, you, I think, are doing quite well. You're... And this person wants to fix things with you, though. Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Come in quick. And we have here, ooh, there's talk, or there's someone repeated something. I see the parrot, I, I always think of someone repeating something since the parrot repeats. There's some kind of talk that they heard, and they want to maybe fix things with you, or straighten things out. Maybe it was not a, tr a truth that you heard, but someone's coming back to fix things. Okay, now your energy is your heart at work you're paying attention to just building your pentacles here i think you're just not focusing on anything else Oop, it came on here the sun it makes you happy and leo energy could be also a child involved in this oh, yeah you're completing a cycle to start something new and you know you're getting a lot of attention here queen of wands you're very attractive you're getting a lot of attention you are Closing one cycle to start something new here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's get a charm on this. Yeah, and you're very wise. I almost, I feel like someone's like working into the night hours. You're just really focusing on your work at this time. And this is what's making you happy. Because you said, I don't want to be bothered with anything else. But in the meantime, you are getting attention that you don't, probably don't even notice. Okay, now... What about the Six of Wands? This is the influence of others. Let's see what's going on with that. 
could be dealing with a Capricorn here. Ace of Swords. Someone is trying to get to the truth or trying to cut out things that don't belong. You do have a Capricorn, so it might be an influence. Someone might be kind of obsessing over you, too. But it also could be maybe someone's trying to help you relax because you're working so hard. They might be saying, you know what, you got to slow down a little bit. You're going to burn yourself out. And that, um, so I feel like, I don't feel like anything really bad except for that someone's really focused on you. They have, they're saying, they're thinking a lot about you. I feel like they're in this, always thinking about you, always, um, wondering what you're up to. And, um, wanting you to take it easy a little bit, seeing that you're working very hard. Okay, now, what should you be doing? We have this hermit that's going in. Let's see here. We have, oh, the lover's Gemini energy, seven pentacles. Okay. Um, there's also, maybe you should add, think about, again, after you do whatever you're doing within, there's going to be a partnership coming up or the choice here, and maybe consider putting some work into this. This is going to be coming around, so you're going to need to make a judgment call. And this might be a relationship that's worth having. It's a lover's. could be a soulmate connection. So give us some thought there. As you're healing, as you're going in, as you're learning something here. Okay. Let's see now. The outcome. We have the beautiful Ten of Pentacles. So what's that all about? Victory. Okay. So this is... Whatever you're working on, whatever you're trying to achieve, you are going to be victorious. It could be a long-term relationship, especially with the lover's card here. And also, doing quite well in your business, your, whatever you're doing here. But this is going to be shocking, something coming in here. And you're stuck in your head about something. We do have the Emperor showing up. This is your card. This is your energy. You're coming into your power. I think you might be shocking people. You're also stuck in your head about something. Maybe some kind of decision. You feel blocked or, or something here that needs to... I don't know, something you need to... This is, when you get the Eight of Swords, you're not really something to worry about. You're not really stuck. It's your own interpretation of your circumstances. And it's really not concrete. So, with the Tower here, the Tower is also Aries Scorpio energy. So something, I think you're going to shock people with this victory that you're receiving. Because you're going to get a lot of attention. You're getting notice. We just got to get unblocked here. And then with the Emperor here. This is taking your power, being in control. You're doing quite well here. I like this reading. Very nice. Okay, so let's get the word now. What's the word on this page of wands? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's see. Could be any sign, though. This is someone wanting a message here. Pre present thinking. Okay, denying something. Okay, at, at the present time, this person is thinking that someone's denying something whether you're denying something or they're denying something they might i almost feel like this person's thinking you're denying your feelings for this person okay this is for this page let me put this one got this one done with that okay i'm gonna move these over here because i need room for this knight of wands up here what's the scoop on this knight of wands up here we have separate contact likely is going to surprise you i think this person is going to contact you when they're you're alone when you're separated from other people you might be with people and it's going to surprise you whoever this person is and by the, the way they come in again airy scorpio and surprise suddenly they come in they just show up okay now let's do the queen of cups which i feel is your energy third party money tick tock okay so a third party is worried about running out of time something to do with money that makes any sense if it doesn't make sense then it's not yours just leave it okay what about this page of swords is someone watching you spying you um, trying to see what you're up to probably watching your social media or going by your house or asking about you and we have important sincere thoughts 
Okay, this person's sincerely thinking about you. They, they, I think they feel like you are very important to them. You are the apple of their eye here. You know, they're, you're, there's something special about you. They, they desire you here. What about this Knight of Swords? Why do we have the Knight of Swords? Lust. Ooh. Very soon, apology. This person, this Knight of Swords coming in is lusting for you. This is a fast energy. And they want to apologize. Okay, what about this Queen of Wands? Return. Expect. Instigate. Okay, I expect a return. Someone's going to instigate something here. This is your energy, though. Hmm. So what's going on here? Instigate. No, there's something you're very, working very hard you're very happy you're balancing things out people see you as very attractive you're working super hard that's all i get is you're working so hard instigate expect return i don't know guys if this makes sense to you um it's not gonna be for everyone okay that's our last one okay very good so now let's see what signs we have for you guys i think i'm gonna do the signs over here because i have more room Okay, so what are the signs for Aries? What signs do you be dealing with? Sagittarius. Leo. Pisces. Cancer. Cancer. And Taurus. Okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. Okay, now for the letters. Let's see what letters we have for you guys. This would be for initial first name, last name. If you get both the first and last, and someone has a middle name, and you know that name, get that initial also. Past, present, future, also your own initials. U, I, S, G, I, G, D, G, A, O, J. Alrighty, guys. So the letters I have for you today are U, I, S, G, I, G, D, G, A, O, J. Now for the names. What are the names for you guys? What are the names? It's me. You guys are um, working on your money. You're being successful, and that's coming in for you. And also, maybe, you know, long-term commitment, too. But I do see that it seems like your money is going to be good. You're going to get recognized for what you're doing here. I like it. So we have Bob, B-A-U-B. We have Latoya, L-A-T-O-Y-A. -A. Calvin. Kashala, K K A S H A Y L A. I know I'm not saying that right. Kash. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not used to names. Some of these names, so it's hard for me to realize how to pronounce them. Daryl, D A R R Y L. Okay, Stavian, S T A I V E N. Suzette, Ashma, A S M A H, Penny. And Vontonio, V-O-N-T-O-N-I-O. -O. How many do we have here? Oh, I'm short one. And we're going to have at least 11. Let's get one more in here. One more for you guys. And we have Jared. Okay. Oh, I had Sarah over here. I didn't you know. Okay, so we got an extra one. I didn't see Sarah on the side there. Sarah would jump right on the emperor. What does that mean? Does <laughs> Sarah want to jump the emperor? <laughs> Okay, guys. So there's those are the names, and um, remember these these are general readings, they're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if you like this spread, then I'll add it onto the other ones. Not in replacing any, because I I'm doing a lot of spreads, so I'm just trying to um, you know vary it up a little bit, so it's not the same old same old. I can't do the same old same old. 
<laughs> that's not my my style okay guys so um i really appreciate you guys and um please leave comments let me know if you like this um this spread give me a thumbs up give me a comment give me both i really appreciate that and um i love you so much and i appreciate all your likes share subscribes and comments and i hope to see you all again real soon thank you